and I alt dragged it over here to frame what five. And so I, I copied that keyframe. His foot is planted on the ground on on frame zero, and then on frame 10, his foot is up in the air. So what we have here is basically, let's say we want to do a hold, where his foot just stays planted from frame zero through five and then starts moving. But as you can see, his, his foot is not staying planted. The keyframes are exactly the same. Frame zero and frame five are exactly the same. But the difference is, the in-between in frames that are being interpolated by Lightwave <clears throat> are um, set to the default, which is to create a smooth curve. And when you do that, it may be a bit tough to see here. Go to bounding box mode. Yeah, you can see it a little bit here. But as you can see, in between frame zero and five, <clears throat> it's going, it's looping back, and then it's going up. If if I were to move this around a little bit, you'll see it a little bit easier. That um, <clears throat> there is, it's 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 not just staying flat and just holding its position. It's actually manipulating. It, it's built a curve, a tangent, and based on the velocity of the item in question here it's going to create sometimes a very wild tangent and you'll see this item moving around um, quite a lot. Let's create another keyframe at five, reset it so we're back to our, our initial position. So as you can see here in our, our, our wireframe mode is that he's it's, it's created this tangent. If you go in, oops, here you'll see that the data, the channel data is, is going all around um, it's uh, it's created instead of a flat curve in between these things. I'll zoom in on these. Instead of a flat curve, it's it's creating this this hump here. These these smooth curves, which is the, the default and which is what you want for many cases. Um, in this case, we don't want to do that. There's uh, several options um, we can we can use for for getting rid of this. So remember, we want the foot to stay planted and then move. Uh, one way we can do it, uh, an easy way is to hit the enter key. If you have create key plus, select linear as the type, and this will create a flat curve, and then we'll set the frame to five. We're, create, we're copying the keyframe from frame zero to frame five. And now when we play the animation, as you see, when we scrub through, his foot stays perfectly planted and goes up. And if we go and bring this up, we'll see that these tangents here are gone. All right, let's create, let's go back to what we had before, which is the TCB spline type. All right, now this resets the problem. All right, now here's another way we can do it, uh, which is the, um, let's see here, it's down here, move TCB tool. This is also a very, very useful tool. And what this does is allows you to man manipulate all these curves right here in layout in a visual way. So you don't have to mess around with those curves if you don't want to. And all you do is select move TCB and start dragging and you'll see, let's zoom in a little bit more, <clears throat> you'll see the tangents uh, squash in and out and it's a very good way to go ahead and, and see. if you want that tangent, if you want a very wide one, as you can see, you can make it even more excessive. But if you want to flatten it like that, move TCB, and then when we go through, we see that it works exactly as we had thought it would. All right. <clears throat> okay. I don't know why that's doing that. Oh, right. And then if you want to go back and, and move, uh, let, let me go open this again. As you see here, we can see the keyframes. And when you select move TCB, they're all gone because you're not in keyframe mode anymore. You're in move. The TCB is the, what does that stand for again? Uh, transform continuity and bias something oh tension continuity and bias and when you manipulate those you cannot manipulate the actual translation so you have to hit the T key to go back into to movement mode and you'll see that the keyframes appear again um, <clears throat> one more thing if you don't like these motion paths sometimes when you have a lot of items on the screen it can get very cluttered looking at all the motion paths at once let me show you an example of that we'll move his his tail here. I'm going to grab all these and I'm going to move them all at once. Uh, let's go over here and move them again. Here, move them again. 
And as you can see, it gets a little bit cluttered. Uh, it's very nice to be able to see exactly how the object is moving, but uh, it gets a little bit cluttered. So if you want to turn off those motion paths, you can go into here under your display preferences, hit D, and then you can show motion paths, you can turn that off and, and they're gone and they come back. Um, but for the most part, you want to leave them on. They're very useful. So that is the basics, the very basics of keyframing in Lightwave. There's a lot more that can be done. Well, let me show you just a little bit more on the, on the uh, dope sheet because it's very useful. Uh, what you can do with the dope sheet, the other things you can do, select all these items <coughs> with your left mouse button and a region has been drawn around these. Now you can move them with the left mouse button, but you can also, uh, I showed you, you can, you can alt, drag, and duplicate all those keyframes. So now we have a nice little cy cycle going. Uh, you can also uh, grab these and then drag the handles on the end, the orange handles, and scale them in and out. When you do this though, an important thing I've noticed is after you have scaled the keys, uh, right click and go to quantize. Now look, look at these keys before I do this. See, see where they're at. Now right click and go to quantize. And you'll see that they've snapped. These, these two keys here have snapped next to each other. Um, if you don't do that, you're going to get fractional keyframes. You're going to get keyframes, instead of falling on a frame, they're going to fall between a frame. And you, um, it makes it much, much more difficult to, uh, to uh, go ahead and, and uh, select later on. So those are the basics of keyframing in Lightwave.